guys welcome back to my channel it's simone here so today in this video i was like you know what let's do a nice green look for you guys i'm gonna be using my laura mercy a primer for my face <laughs> why am i talking like this <laughs> but i'm gonna be using this for my face and i'm gonna put this on before my foundation my eyebrows i'm gonna actually do off of camera so if you don't know how i do my brows i will have the video linked down below for you guys but i have a full-on step-by-step tutorial so to get started, I am going to be using the Born This Way um, Too Faced Foundation. Not going to lie, absolutely love this. I've used it a couple of times in my last couple of videos. And I just love how it has extreme full coverage. Like, you know how you have full coverage? Well, this is like extreme full coverage. So don't use a lot because it can look slightly cakey. But if you are going to be doing a lot for the day or be out for 24 hours, it does last quite some time and stays put. Next, we have the Fenty Foundation, and I believe I'm using this in the color, I'm not sure. I will have it for you down below. And I got this, a bunch of flower products, a bunch of PR flower products, um, which is a makeup brand by Drew Barrymore. And I absolutely loved everything. Now, I've never used them before, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've even heard of them. But they sent me so much PR stuff, and I decided that I really wanted to try to use them. So these white brushes that you see me use, I have about three of them. I'll be using them in my video. And they're such great quality. I believe this brand is also very, very, very inexpensive. So definitely check them out. Next, I'm going to be using the LA Pro Girl, which is also another inexpensive brand. And I'm going to use, use this in a color chestnut to pretty much contour my face. Now, don't put a lot um, because it just will be a lot to wipe away. And then I'm using my Morphe brush, one of my absolute favorites. It's like a nice buffer brush. You can also use this for a foundation if you want, but it definitely will give you a nice airbrush finished look. So, and, and it's super, super inexpensive as well. I would say everything in this video is slightly inexpensive besides a few high-end products. Next, this Laura Mercier setting powder. I just opened my PR package that they sent me, and this was one of the items that they sent me, the powder. Um, also, the brush is new from Flower, and it has a glow to it. At first, I thought I was bugging, and it just looks so white on my face. Like I was like, oh my god, how is this going to go away? But with a little effort... Whoa, what kind of setting powder? Oh. I'm lying. With a lot of effort, it will finally start to disappear and melt into your skin. It does have a glow to it, okay? It has a nice glow, which is you can see in my T-zones. It looks highlighted. So don't use a lot, guys, or you're going to look a little crazy in the daylight. Next, I had this Milani. I think it's a bronzer, but I've been using it as a bronzer and a blush. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my contoured areas just to kind of give me a little bit more of a rosier color um, and a rosy finish. Also, Milani is very inexpensive. See? See? It's a whole trend. And my brushes in this video are all from BH Cosmetics. I just feel the need that if I find anything that's inexpensive that you guys should know about it too because a lot of times I'm too cheap to spend money on all high-end products, okay? I'm keeping it real with you guys. <laughs> but I do enjoy high-end products. Just saying. I like both. I have this flower blush that I also got from Flower, and it's a nice pink rose color, so I went ahead and added this on the balls of my cheeks. And then also this flower contour palette, both of those colors, and this flower brush I'm using in my highlighted areas, so I absolutely love how it gave me a nice muted highlight. It wasn't too, like, exaggerated. Sometimes I feel like we be walking around here shining like a damn disco ball with all this highlight, and I like how it's very diffused and not as, you know, shocking. Next, I have this BH Cosmetics palette, and I'm going to be using this nice forest-looking teal green color, and I'm pretty much just packing this all over my entire eyelids, okay? Now, you can determine how much color you want on your eyes. Not for me. I wanted it to look green, so I went ahead and packed and packed and packed it on. After that, I'm gonna be using my Deck of Scarlet eyeshadow palette and this green right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top of my um, eyelids and just pack that on, rub it in. Um, I wanted it to show that it had a nice sparkle to it, so that's why I'm adding more and more and more. And then I added it to my, what is it called, my waterline? My bottom eyelid, one of those two is called. <laughs> oh god, I'm so horrible. Next, Laura Mercier came through, and I'm using a highlight from her in my inner corners of my eyes, and then a flower mascara 
um, they sent to me as well. And I'm putting that on my bottom lower lid. And then NYX. And it's brown lip liners. How I get this nice nude color. Finishing off with a flower setting spray that smells really good. But I sprayed a lot of this because it's a very light mist. <laughs> so if you like a very, very, very heavy uh, spray, um, this might not be the one for you. <laughs> but I absolutely loved it. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope this was enough slay for you all. I loved it. I love this look. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Everything is down below in the description box and in the comments, my loves. Bye!